This is a tutorial of how to keep your Weimaraners from killing each other. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Riddler? Damn tired. How are we, Sassy? Or Sassy's butt? <gasps> Sassy's tail. How are we doing? Sassy. Bumper. Nope. Not wagging it. Though it's kind of funny. It's kind of caught underneath, so her tail's a loop. And MRL's out in the hall because the hardwood floor is cooler. So, it is now, what time is it? 4.35, and I'm just now picking the camera up. Um, hold on. Gotta kill a bug. Okay, we're good. Blah. Hate box elder bugs. They're gross. Ugh, no. Anyway, so, this morning, I slept. <laughs> so exciting. And then got ready and went with my family to eat lunch at Bucking Burrito, which, if you don't know what Bucking Burrito is, it's kind of like, I guess depending on the area you're in, it's like Moe's, like Rancheros, like Chipotle, but it sucks. Those three restaurants, I've never even been to Chipotle, but I'm pretty sure it's better than Bucking Burrito. Um, then my brother and I came home. I watched some YouTube videos because my watch later list it was pretty long. Ended up napping for an hour. Then finally woke up, was like, what year is this? Um, let dogs out and now I'm finally working on the vlog. Well, that's not the vlog. That is actually an assignment that's due tomorrow that I haven't started yet. Go me. So while the vlog is uploading to YouTube, I am getting some questions answered about one of the data sets for the presentation we had to do. And then I have to write up a report about one of the groups that we saw. About like, you know, how good they were, how bad they were, blah, blah, blah. Downside is I don't 100% remember their presentation. So I'm like, well, this should be great. Because of course my memory is not always reliable. But yeah, that is how the afternoon is going today. Yes! Good boy! Yay! Good boy! Yes! Good boy! have a paw? No, that's your mouth. Paw? That is still your mouth. Paw. Mm. Pepper! Riddler, leave him alone. Yes! Good boy! Such a good boy! Alright, let's try one more thing. You almost got it. You almost got it. Come on. Come on. Get it. Yes, good boy! Yay! Such a good boy. This is a tutorial of how to keep your Weimaraners from killing each other. So make sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy. First step is to have Weimaraners that are trying to kill each other. I've got two. There's a, there are two boys. One is a year old and one is half a year old. Step two, find something else for them to focus their rough energy on. We chose the outdoors. May also be useful. They also may try to like tackle you, so be careful with that. It may be useful to have an object. I chose this really freaking huge stick. And now they have their attention focused on the stick. And off they go! And there you have it. Do that a million times until they're freaking tired. 
So thank you for watching my tutorial on how to keep two Weimaraners from killing each other. Just remember, this is only temporary, because once they get more energy, they're going to start fighting all over again. But in the meantime, watch them both try to compete for the same stick. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. So, update on how to keep your wimes from killing each other. They broke the stick. So I, fetch, so I threw it to them for them to fetch. This one managed to have both sticks in his mouth. That was actually pretty funny. Ah! No, 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 do not strip the stick. No stick stripping. No. And whoosh. There it goes. I didn't mean for you guys to go after that one. Oh, but this one. This one. Are you guys ready? Okay. You're going to POV fetch with me. Ready and go. Good job, friends. That was some great stick throwing. Now watch the dogs fight over the same stick for a while. It's actually really funny. See, this is the product of your labor. I was watching my boys go up to the same stick. <laughs> this is what they'll do for at least five minutes. So, if you don't get quality entertainment out of what I say, you can get quality entertainment out of my dogs. Is that what they're good for? Is dogs good for the internet? It might be. It might be. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna come get you. I'm gonna come get you. <laughs> oh dear, please don't break it again. I got that stick from over there. That was a hard stick to break and they managed to break it. Oh hey, here's another stick. I think my brother found this one. Is this your stick? Can I pet you with it? <gasps> Is this your stick? All right, guys, ready? Ready? We're going to throw it again. And go! And I'll pick up this one and see what happens. And off they go. They're probably going to break that one a little easier. Because it's not as hard of wood as this. I have no idea what kind of wood this is. How would I know? <gasps> Boys! And go get it! Really? You're going after that stick. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to get both of the sticks, buddy? You guys aren't very good at this sharing thing, are you? Okay, what is the situation with the sticks? Emerald, quit stripping the sticks. No stick stripping in this house. It's a heron. Isn't it pretty? And I'm sorry, my hands are a little shaky. But we get those. I think they're beautiful creatures. What do you think? Hey guys! So they're my doggies. They're all very sleepy. Hi, sweet girl. You can go back to sleep now. Yeah. So I have gotten a shower, gotten meds. And I am watching one more episode of American Horror Story before I go to bed. I'm on asylum right now and I'm just like, yes. But it makes me think so much of a project I had to do in high school a long time ago where I did a book report on Dorothy Dix, who is the reason that there was mental health reform. She's the reason that hospitals are not like as seen in asylum. Why there's actually treatment and rehabilitation and not just locking everyone up in a loony bin or something. So that's just kind of what it reminds me of and I quite enjoy it. Seeing Asylum makes me appreciate just how far like treatment for mental health has really gone. Because I mean it could have been a lot worse. We could have still been like in Asylum. So there's my thought for the night. But now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day is... What is your favorite animal? We'll go with that. Just in general. I don't know, I have a lot of favorite animals, but I guess the first thing that comes to my mind is a beluga whale, so we'll go with that. Let's put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!
Good night, Tassie. Good night, Emerald. Good night, Riddler.